What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my official house tour. This video is really delayed. We've been moved in for about five months now. We've been waiting for a bunch of furniture to come in and they finally showed up and the house looks actually like a house now instead of like <laughs> big empty room. But first things first, when you walk in, you see, ow. <laughs> first things first, when you walk in, you notice these five feet wide hallways. After this hallway and walking into like my parents' hallway and stuff like that, it's, it feels so cramped. This feels really open and um, warming when you walk in. One of my most favorite features of the house. Right when you walk in, we have my girlfriend's office. This house does come with three rooms. It's about 3,100 square feet sitting on 0.25 acres of land. So we have a lot of room to work with for just us two. We have our master and both of us each get our own little office studio to work in. Um, so that way, we don't have to cram everything into one spot. Very thankful that we found a house that um, fit our needs. I mean, this house is a little too big for us, but eventually we'll grow into it. And for now, it's perfect for us. Pretty decent room. Everything comes with walk-in closets. I'm gonna open that because my cousin Ryan's mattress is in there and that's all that's in there. Serious. Oh, see? <laughs> That's all that's in there right now. That dude comes down from Seattle so much, so we don't have anywhere to store it yet, so that is the best place we can find to put a mattress. Walking down the hallway again, turn to our left, we have our guest bathroom. Beautiful looking bathroom, everything's all modern. Nice faucets, nice towels that she loves to buy for every room, which there's like 40 different towels in this house right now. Cool toilet. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I've had a elongated toilet, which the toilet seat was a little longer at my parents' house. Switched over to this normal size one. And let me tell you, it does not do the job. It's, it's, it doesn't do the job when you do the number two, if you know what I mean. It's just the extra length helps a little bit. So I almost switched that out pretty soon. <laughs> one of the flaws about the house is the toilet is a little too small for my booty, man. There's so many lights in this house. Like this has a light above the shower that usually in old houses that yeah, they just have one light fixture. Pretty nice little tub. Ever showered in it once. And yeah, don't spend much time in here. Oh, we do have a little linen closet. I store all my hoodies in here. I have like 10,000 hoodies. They do not fit in the master closet, so I throw them in here. And in this room is my office. So all the gaming goes down, kinda, that I barely play. All the editing, a cool couch. Kinda wanna do like some hype beast painting canvas right here. Do like a cool rug, and then maybe a little neon sign right here. I don't know, it's blank canvas. I have a lot, a lot of ideas I can throw into this, but as of right now, that's how it looks. My little shoe collection up here. It's a crazy dog. I don't know what you're doing, dude. What's up, buddy? Yeah, this is where everything goes down. And hopefully I can transform it into something really dope where I can create a bunch of things in here because I really barely use this office now, so. I would love to spend more time in here, but beautiful L desk. Everything's from Ikea in here. This Facebook market, $100. Making our way down the hallway. My favorite part of the house. Might as well check it out right now. Our three car garage. Never in my life would I think I would own a house that would have a three car garage where I can park my truck let alone my daily and my girlfriend's car. At first we wanted like a, a two car garage would have satisfied us when we were looking for houses. I never, like I said, thought I would get in a third car, which 
Now after owning one and having one, it makes all the difference in the world. I'm slowly transforming it to be one of the coolest man caves, you can say, on this block. As you can tell, I've already painted the walls white. Well, that's when I barely started moving in. We ran out of paint and we have to muck this whole garage. Originally, I was just gonna paint over this, but painting over it, you would have seen these lines and I don't like the look of that. So I wanna go through, take my time, sand everything out, make it nice and clean, and then paint over it like I did on these two walls. And then eventually do the floors and the cool cabinets and the workbench and the tool chest. And I have everything in mind. I just have to put it to plan. So that'll come shortly. It'll be here. And I can't wait to show you guys when this garage takes a whole transformation. Cause I really want it to be more of something cleaner instead of making it look like a, a garage, <laughs> you know what I mean? Somewhere to work on the cars, hang out, chill. Just have a good time out here. This is the basement, we'll show that in a little bit. We have the laundry room. Thanks to Jenny and Brandon, we're using these for now because we don't have our own washers and dryers, but they're living down the street, so we're gonna return these pretty soon. So thank you if you guys are watching this. This is probably the best thing you can own as an adult it's a dyson vacuum <laughs> one of the cool hey cordless dyson vacuum highly recommend if you do own a house it's a little pricey but worth the money since lifetime warranty i've always told myself it's better buy once than five times so spend the money when you can now we get to the main part of the house our beautiful kitchen when we're looking for a house, we really wanted a big old island in the middle. And we got one. <laughs> well, we found one. Came with one big ass sink. After using this, like I said, I cannot go back to the conventional split sink. This is honestly the best thing that you can get when you own a house because big pots and pans are a pain in the butt to clean. And when you have one of these, like it's amazing because you're trying to clean the pot and pan and half of it water gets everywhere all over the counter this one you can just lay it flat and bam just wash it and i don't know it makes a hell of a difference your normal asian fridge all my asians out here fried onions the best thing in the world um yeah we have an ice tray, chicken nuggets. Cool. All the cabinets in here, or all the cabinets in this whole house are equipped with non-slam <laughs> mechanism. So open it. You can slam as hard as you want and it does not make any noise. Like after using it for the last couple months, I go to my friend's house when there's parties and stuff, get something from the cabinet. And immediately I just throw it and it makes the loudest noise because I'm so used to the cabinets that I have here at home. So our little pantry, you gotta have your rice, dog food, snacks, bucanas, and your little essential things that you have in here. This is our beautiful Costco dining table. <laughs> yeah. I told my girlfriend I am, I'm giving her the reins on designing the whole house. The only thing I'm gonna design in the house personally is the garage and the backyard. And everything else is gonna be her. So whatever she wants, we'll get it, design it. Cause I don't know the color scheme she's going for. Like you women, you know, have modern wood, warm tones that us men probably don't understand really. So I'm gonna let her do her thing and um, yeah, she's gonna design everything in here. She went with a white couch, which was really bold, but it looks freaking amazing in here. And these chairs are from Target. 
Target is the place to go to get these modern wooden warm chairs. So yeah, back to the white couch. I love it. Really comfy in here. It's like long enough where you can just sit and just lay, which is super comfy. I've slept on here multiple times already. And honestly, for the price, it's worth it. This is our cement coffee table. We did not buy this. Me and her actually made it and built it ourselves. We actually framed out the wood, cut it to the shape she liked, put plywood all around it, and then actually grab cement and smeared it on. And then after we threw a coat of water resistant something, where if you spill water on it, then it just drips off instead of soaking into the cement, which would cause cracks. And we don't want that. Pretty, pretty cool little DIY thing we did. And that's it for the living room and the kitchen. Now we're gonna go to the master bedroom real quick. Honestly, so sorry that it's a little dirty. <laughs> just your normal bed. The coolest part of our master bedroom would have to be these tiles. Beautiful white color. Really relaxing in here. And the open and I don't know, you got your his and her sink, a nice tub, as well as a nice glass shower. Here you are, your walk-in closet. Nothing crazy, nothing too big. Enough for both of us. See why I cannot fit all my hoodies because all my shirts and everything take up the whole room already. I do have one more spot for you, and that is gonna be the basement. Honestly, I haven't been down here since we moved in a little bit. But we got our own pool table. This is a Rambler, so it is one story and a basement. And this basement is as big as the, the square footage upstairs. We have a lot of room down here to do whatever the hell we want. Pool table, like bar, big projector. I'll put two rooms down here later on, in case anyone wants to move in. Then uh, we have our storage room. Now it's gonna be a bathroom. And this place has endless possibilities that we can do down here. I'm gonna build it myself. Once the lumber prices are a little lower, then we're gonna go ahead and start attacking this because I really want to get this done that way we can have a place to call a little chill spot you know in the house and that we have the backyard it's not really finished right now but I do have some fence guys coming in within the next week and um, we're gonna be finishing the fence up as well as maybe doing some landscaping but you can tell I have literally all dirt right now Hey buddy, I'm trying to vlog here. Like, do you mind? On that, I really appreciate you watching. If you can please, please, please subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a ton. And um, it'll boost the video up, help the YouTube algorithm where my video displays for millions of more people. So please like and subscribe. Comment if you can what you think about the house. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.